Welcome to Timeless Devotions with Classic Christianity. My sister and I would like to share a treasure we found in her mother's attic, our grandfather's writings. For over 50 years, Papa was internationally known as a preacher of the timeless Word of God. Please join us now for a five-minute devotional taken from the books Classic Christianity, A Year of Timeless Devotions, based on the writings of the Reverend L.A. Mead. Our devotional today is entitled, The Untrodden Path. Our scripture reading is Joshua 3, 4b through 5. You have not passed this way before. Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. No matter what tomorrow holds, God's people are prepared for it if they draw near to him. Whether the untried paths are those of a new land, as for the children of Israel, or those of a new year, we can trust in him. There will be new experiences to face, new problems to solve, new trials to endure, and new temptations to meet. There will also be new opportunities to grasp, new tasks to perform, and new blessings to enjoy. Yes, the new way may hold all of this and more. After 40 years of wilderness wandering, the children of Israel stood at the border of the new country which they had left Egypt to possess. Only the Jordan River separated it from him. Through the parting waters of the Red Sea, they left the land of bondage, and through the parting waters of the Jordan, they would enter fair Canaan, the land flowing with milk and honey. Tomorrow they would tread new and untried paths in which God would do wonders among them, and Joshua calls upon the people to sanctify themselves for this new experience which awaits them. For the children of Israel, this would be a way of testing. Not only was the river swollen, obliterating all fords, but there were Jericho's towering walls to consider. In the new land, there were giants to fight and cities to conquer, but the Lord has never promised his people an easy time in this world. And as for them, so for us, faith will overcome every difficulty. As soon as the feet of the priest who carried the Ark of the Covenant touched the waters, they were parted. And so it is for us. If God is for us, who can be against us? While there are sure to be difficulties this new year, we need not have fear because the one who goes before us knows them and is equal to them all. We need the testing of our faith for the greater experiences to be enjoyed and the greater work to be done. The swollen river Jordan challenged the progress of the children of Israel, yet divine provision for their crossing was at hand. God is saying to us today, as he said to the people of old, this is the way, walk in it. Whenever you turn to the right hand or whenever you turn to the left, for every challenge there is always ample provision for those who have the faith to obey. While we are constantly surrounded by life's uncertainties, we rejoice that we have heavenly certainties. Life is uncertain, wealth is uncertain, friendships are uncertain, but thank God, God is a certainty. His presence in your life is assured. This new year will have much to offer. It presents an untrodden path, and the feet of faith falter not upon entering it. Because of the one who goes before us, we walk with assurance. Dear Lord, thank you for allowing me the privilege of this new year. I ask as I enter it that you help me to remember that I do not need to understand where each day will take me. I must only remember to follow you. Please help me to be faithful in that walk this year, Lord, that I might bring glory to your precious name. Amen. We hope you will visit us online at www.classicchristianity.net. As we begin a new year, we hope your goals include a renewed focus on the Lord. We can help. Check our online store for devotionals for the whole family, including the At Papa's Knee series of children's devotionals and the books from which these radio broadcasts are taken. Classic Christianity, A Year of Timeless Devotions, Volumes 1 and 2. These are all available on our website, www.classicchristianity.net. Thank you for joining us for Timeless Devotions with Classic Christianity.